Next, we will do some problems based on the calculating of equivalent resistance in a circuit. First question is, find the equivalent resistance between the point A and B in the following circuit. And the circuit is given. In this circuit, there are the three resistances of 15 ohm each. And we have to find the equivalent resistance between A and B. So where here, there are the two points also, which we mark C and another is D. Effectively, there are the points A, B, C, D, and this A and D, terminal A and D are short circuited because it is connected with the connecting wire of zero ohm resistance. Similarly, C and B is also short circuited. That means it is also connected with the zero ohm resistor or a connecting wire or a conductor. Therefore, effectively, there are only two points that is point A and point B. Point A is also the point D and point B is also the point C. So now we connect the resistances between A. So first is between A and C. This is the 15 ohm resistance. So A and C has a resistance 15 ohm. So one of the resistance is this. Another is between C and D and C and D is also the same terminals as A and B. So it is also 15 ohm and another is D and B. So D is this and B is this. This implies that one another 15 ohm resistance is also connected between the same terminals. Therefore, these three resistance are connected in parallel between A and B. So resistance equivalent for a parallel combination is 1 by 15 plus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 15. Using the formula for parallel combination R equivalent equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. And sub evaluating it, it will be 3 by 15, that means 1 by 5. So R equivalent will be 5 ohm. This is the answer. Second question is, a circuit connected between A and B, and we have to find the equivalent resistance between A and B. So here, there are two another junctions, that is, we mark with C and D. In earlier question, C and B are short-circuited, while the A and D also was short-circuited, but in this question now there are the resistances between these terminals therefore we take these terminals a then b c and d here we have to find the equivalent resistance between a and b now we check the resistance connected and to rearrange these resistances so that we can visualize the resistance either in a series combination or in a parallel combination or a Wheatstone bridge so that we can solve it. So there is a resistance between A and C. This is the 10 ohm. So we connect one of the resistance of 10 ohm between A and C. Another is connected between C and D. This is also 10 ohm. So C and D, this is a another resistance of 10 ohm. Then between D and B, this is a 10 ohm. This is the D and B, this is a 10 ohm resistance. Another is between C and B. This is the 10 ohm resistance. So C and B, it is a 10 ohm resistance. And last one is, it is between the A and D. This is the A and D, so it is also a 10 ohm resistance. So now this circuit has rearranged in the known format. Here we can see very easily that it is a Wheatstone bridge because if this resistance is P and it is Q, it is R, it is S. So we can say P by Q equal to R by S as 10 by 10 equal to 10 by 10. Therefore, VC will be equal to VD. These two vertex C and D will be at the same potential. That means current in this CD will be zero. It means this resistance is effectively not connected between C and D. We can treat it as it is. So effectively, the circuit is the 10 ohm, then 10 ohm, it is another 10 ohm and this. This is the effective circuit between A and B. So this 10 ohm and 10 ohm are in series. So its effective resistance is 10 plus 10 equal to 20 ohm. Similarly, these two resistances are also in series. Therefore, their effective resistance is 10 plus 10, that is 20 ohm. And these 20 ohm resistances are in parallel between A and B. Therefore, R equivalent equal to 1 by 20 plus 1 by 20 that is equal to 2 by 20 or 1 by 10, we can say R equivalent equal to 10 ohm. 
in next question there the resistance in the circuit and we have to find the equivalent resistance between a and b here in this circuit each resistance are of r ohm and if we check this combination between a and b is a wheatstone bridge here these two arms are like p and r and this is q and s and this is the resistance between the two vertex which are at the same potential because p by q equal to r by s therefore this circuit is effectively is a and b there is a resistance r and effectively here it is a resistance r and this is resistance another resistance r then in between these two edges this resistance r is effectively not of use so we can remove it from the circuit and the remaining is this is a resistance r this is a resistance r so effectively this is the final circuit now we can see easily these two resistance are in series so its effective value will be 2r similarly these two resistances are also in series so their effective value is 2r therefore this 2r 2r and this r r in the parallel between a and b so effective or equivalent resistance is 1 by 2r plus 1 by 2r plus 1 by r taking the lcm 2r it is 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is equal to 4 by 2r or is equal to 2 by r so we can say r equivalent is equal to r by 2 in the fourth question a circuit is given in which each resistance is of value r if we see the circuit carefully we will see this is a symmetrical circuit and in it if current entering is suppose 3i so this current will distribute equally in three branches and this is i i and i and this i current when reach at this junction say c then here symmetrically it will further divide into two parts that is i by 2 and i by 2 and this i by 2 current reach at this junction that is o and from here it this current i is reaching here this is i it is i by 2 and similarly this current i will reach here this is the say junction d and at junction d it will divide in two equally part because of symmetry we can easily check it is i by 2 and i by 2 and here this current i by 2 will reach at the origin at origin if we see this b has also the symmetric configuration as of the a therefore we can say current i is entering at the b from the three wires and resultant output is 3i therefore we can see that this i is coming here and here in the other branches currents are i by 2 and i by 2 it means we can conclude that this current is passing through the branch considering that it is not connected at the junction o similarly this branch is also showing that it is not connected at o because the same current is passing through the resistance therefore we can equivalently write this diagram as this is the point a this is the one of the resistance this is the another resistance then this is a resistance one of the resistance this is another and then this is in this form similarly symmetrically we can also draw for the lower part and the diagram will be like this effectively by distributing the current we can conclude that the circuit is as per the drawn circuit and now it is easy to calculate the net equivalent resistance between the a and simplifying the circuit these two resistances are in series so because each resistance is r therefore this their effective resistance is 2r and this 2r is in parallel with this resistance r so effectively this resistance will be the r into 2r by r plus r for the parallel formula so it will be 2r square by 3r or r will get cancel r this is equal to 2r by 3 and now this 
2r by 3 is in series with this resistance r and r that means total resistance of this branch will be it will be r plus r plus 2r by 3 that means it is equal to 2r plus 2r by 3 or we can write it is 8r by 3 similarly the resistance of this branch will be 8r by 3 and this branch has the resistance r and r this is 2r so we can say that 8r by 3 is parallel to 2r and it is parallel to 8r by 3 so effectively r equivalent will be because these are in parallel so we will write it is 3 by 8r plus 1 by 2r plus 3 by 8r taking the lcm it will be 8r 3 plus it will be 4 Plus three, so it is three. There is ten by eight R, or we can write it is five by four R. Therefore, R equivalent will be four R by five. This is the answer.